What is going to happen to the Queen's corgis now that she's gone? The decision is a bit of a surprising one. Queen Elizabeth II will be remembered for many things, and being an avid animal lover is definitely one of them. At the time of her death, at age 96 on September the 8th, she owned four dogs. Two Pembroke Welsh corgis named Muick and Sandy, one older corgi named Candy, and a cocker spaniel named Lizzie. But what's going to happen with them now? Well, it turns out that her beloved dogs will live with the person who gifted them to her, Prince Andrew and his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York. A source close to the royal family told NBC News, the Queen's Corgis will go to live with Prince Andrew and the Duchess of York at their home in Windsor, Royal Lodge. It was Sarah, the Duchess of York, who found the puppies, which were gifted to the Queen by Prince Andrew. Sarah still lives with Andrew despite being divorced from him since 1996, and shares with him daughters Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie. The Duchess reportedly bonded with the Queen over dog walking and riding horses, and even after her divorce, they would continue their friendship by walking the dogs in Frogmore House. For most of her life, Queen Elizabeth has owned at least one corgi, a dog breed now as synonymous with royalty as Buckingham Palace. Living inside the palace, the dogs had a very privileged life, and had their own room in the palace known as the Corgi Room. They actually slept in wicker baskets with sheets that were changed daily, and the dogs were tended to by the Queen herself. Not only that, but their daily menu was very lavish, and included fresh rabbit and beef, of course, all served by a gourmet chef. In fact, at Christmas time, the Queen gave her dogs stockings full of toys and biscuits. But despite the Queen's wishes that no new dogs be added to their home from 2012 onwards, two corgis were welcomed back into the royal household in 2021. While her husband Prince Philip was hospitalized, it was then that she was given the two puppies, which she named Fergus and Muick. Both names actually hold a special meaning. Muick was named after a favorite spot near the Queen's summer retreat at Balmoral Castle, and and Fergus was named after an uncle that she knew. He was her mother's brother, Fergus Bowles Leon, who was killed in World War I in 1915. But sadly, Fergus, the puppy, tragically died just two months later of a heart defect. It was then that the Queen was given another puppy in June by her son Andrew and granddaughters Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie on what would have been Prince Philip's 100th birthday. At her death, the Queen left behind three dogs. As a young princess, Elizabeth developed a deep love for her favorite dog breed in 19. 1933, when she was just seven years old. Her father bought a corgi named Dookie for Elizabeth and her younger sister Margaret. Not long after, the girls were gifted a second corgi by the name of Jane, who then gave birth to a litter of puppies. Then for her 18th birthday in 1944, Princess Elizabeth was given her very own corgi named Susan, which was also a gift from her father the king. So that's when her obsession really took off. In fact, since taking the throne in 1952, the queen has owned over 30 corgis. Buckingham Palace was always extremely tight-lipped about anything to do with the Queen's dogs because they're seen as a private matter. But it's clear that the Queen's love of the breed caught the world's attention. In fact, there was actually a clear spike in corgi registrations in 1936 and another one in 1944, the same year that Princess Elizabeth got Susan. She made corgis seem cool and popular, while they made her look warm and more approachable. As well as being the Queen's much-loved pets, the dogs are said to be a connection to her father and remind her of a much more carefree time. In fact, it's pretty well known that the corgis went wherever the queen went from palace to palace. This includes on helicopters, trains, and in limousines. Walking them every day was a part of her routine, before mobility issues which really affected her in recent months. But it seems like the queen's decision was a good one, as her beloved corgis will move in with Prince Andrew, and they will surely be cared for and appreciated in their new home. Thanks so much for watching, that's it for today, and I'll catch you in the next video.